a glass tube from 1936. Today's price, $50,000 for technology we supposedly replaced. Why can't we make them anymore? Western Electric, they made the tubes that built AT&T's phone network. Their 300B became the holy grail of audio. Audiophiles say nothing else sounds the same. The matching process. Two tubes that measure identically on paper can sound completely different. Finding a matched pair was part science, part black magic. The engineers who knew the secrets, gone. The manufacturing techniques, never fully documented. Some say deliberately. Trade secrets that became lost knowledge. Modern manufacturers have tried. Better materials, computer precision, cleaner facilities. The tubes they make? Audiophiles say they're not the same. Something's missing. What did they know? The plate metals were special alloys, recipes lost. The getter materials, the vacuum levels, the burn-in process, all tribal knowledge. The warmth audiophiles describe, it's harmonic distortion, specific patterns that solid state can't replicate. Not a flaw, a feature, one nobody fully understands. Conspiracy theory, the knowledge wasn't lost, it was buried. Patents expired. Why teach competitors? Let the secrets die. Control the supply forever. Or maybe some things can't be written down. The hand pressure on a tool. The instinct for right. Knowledge that only lives in human hands. $50,000 for a tube. Because we forgot how to make it. Or because someone made sure we would. The glow remains. The knowledge is gone.